So today was supposed to be a fun, uh, a fun day of design and CAD work. Um, but it would be better for me to disassemble the entire front assembly, take off left fork, right fork, all of the bracketry. It's like 98 degrees outside. It's fucking just hot. Got a little mini fan going, but that's not doing much. I don't have any motorcycle stands. We need to somehow support this front end. Take this one inch pipe uh, that we have from an old project and slide it right underneath the steering column there. So we need to build in little triangles on either side. We need to go we need to go to a hardware store, pick up some two by fours, paddle drills, screws, and a circular saw onto the store. It's just dimmed. I forget what oh, size we want to use. Do we want to go into the name? Oh, you might miss one, right? Yeah, sure. So I'm a complete dumbass and bought four inch screws uh, for two by four. So going perpendicular, obviously, uh, that's tetanus right there. What I did instead was just jam them in in the most diagonal way possible. Did the exact same thing here, which is actually, yeah, just gotta finish this other one. That looks so bad. space to move the wheel around. We need to get to this bottom bracket and the top bracket. We can remove it from the top and just slide everything down. We don't have enough room on the bottom to pull anything out. We'll be removing the wheel, removing all the brake components, kind of isolating the two forks, and trying to slide them out uh, once we have, there's like eight inches there. Um, one bolt was holding uh, everything in the steer tube, all the, well, Actually, just holding this plate. There's a spanner nut inside that's holding the entire bearing assembly together. We have two clamps, one there and one on the other. Very similar to uh, here, we have a clamp that's clamping onto the, the, that fork and one on the other side. First step, remove all the brakes. Well, actually, remove the wheel, remove all the brakes.
There's three parts we're worried about right now. So this piece bent all the way and it's actually bent down right there. I need to file away the, uh, the paint there to see if this is cracked. If not, I'm just bending it back. This is the piece that was damaged. You can see there. I was thinking about just cutting this off and welding it back on and sort of calling it a day, but one thing that was super weird that actually uh, spun me around. But if you notice, top bearing cup, 19 ball bearings. Bottom bearing cup, 20 ball bearings. I lost my mind trying to find the last ball bearing on the top cup. And then very quickly realized after looking at the uh, service manual, there is only 19 on the top. There's 20 on the bottom. The other one is the front forks. You can see, the, oh there it is, you can see the bend in this thing. Looks like it bent right after the lower bracket. Um, so if I push on it, I mean I get full shock travel. Mm, yeah, 200 thou. Yeah. Right, we're in America here, two or three millimeters. There's one flat spot there, so ideally if I spin this 180, there should be the other straight spot on the other side. Yeah, there it is. So if I check, yeah, those are like exactly 180 to each other. All right, so now I just need to know which one's the high and which one's the low. This one has the gap, so it's the low. Okay, so I can see where uh, where the bottom of the triple T actually bolted on or clamped on, just because there's some. It's actually bent somewhere from here to there. Where's that other sharpie? Oh, beautiful. Way too much marking. Shit. Visually see that this one's the high spot. Yeah. So I'm gonna put an X right in the middle of those two. And O on the other side. We're just gonna go and push really hard on that and hope it strains it out. It won't. 